what we can also do in rose policing and other roles um, when we experience when we're experiencing um, traumatic incidents um, day after day and um, week after week is actually make more constructive time to make sense of those incidents before moving on to the next job. Um, and we found in the Job the Life survey in 2018 that over half of officers weren't getting the time to make sense of an incident before moving on to the next job. Um, and that was actually highly correlated with whether um, respondents thought that their, that their force was managing trauma well. So there's obviously a link between um, feeling supported in work um, and being given the time to process incidents. Now, obviously, we can't magic up the resources um, and the manpower or women power um, to enable us to have that time after an incident. Um, we can't conjure up um, well-being rooms. We can't conjure up debrief sessions. Um, those things might not be available to us, but we have a choice in how we use our time. Um, and it really comes down to our ability to note, actually, that's been really, really difficult. I need to take a moment and try and just get my head around that. And there are techniques out there um, to help us get around, get our head around difficult incidents. Um, and one of those techniques um, has been um, called TIPT, so Trauma Impact Processing Techniques, um, and they're being delivered by Police Care UK. Um, and they're actually born out of research that um, I've been undertaking for, for many years, um, including that by um, a chap called Professor Chris Bruin at UCL, who's a um, world leading trauma expert and has really, really helped us refine the techniques to, to make them quite usable. And basically the techniques work on very simple premise that the brain needs to put things in context of space and time of where and when in order to file it to be able to move on. So when we've got a difficult incident, really making the brain think about what exactly happened, who was where, where did it unfold, unfold what did it look like, who was involved, when did each part happen, organising it in order. When we do that, our brain has a lot more information to go, oh, OK, that makes sense. And the alarm bell goes off or quietens at least. So these techniques, um, we like to say they're not, it's not neuroscience, but it kind of is, but it's not complicated. Um, the techniques are really, really accessible. It's literally a pen and paper job. Um, many of the techniques are used already in forensics um, and in interviewing witnesses, and many of those involved in road policing will be quite familiar with drawing out and mapping out um, an incident, an investigation, and working out um, what exactly happened at what time point. Um, so they're very um, simple, um, familiar processes that, that we use. Um, it's just a question of making sure that we've got the time to do it um, and that we have a structured way to do it. So um, if you are interested in, in being trained in um, trauma impact processing techniques, then do be in touch with um, Police KUK.